Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Jet engines are some of the most advanced machine humans have ever devised. They are notoriously known to be extremely hard and difficult to design and develop. So there is so much to count for like temperature, pressure, fuel, material, software, aerodynamic loads, environment and much more. The Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon may look like a modern stealth fighter and may have even developed from technology copied from Western fighters, yet the aircraft flew with two Russian-made AL-31F jet engines. These engines are also powering Su-27, Su-30 aircraft as well as China's J-10. AL-31F is third generation propulsion technology developed in 1980s. The Achilles heel of Chinese air power has been Beijing's perennial inability to design and build reliable fighter jet engines. But in the recent air show, China has fielded its J-20A equipped with indigenous WS-10C engine. The engine is using a black sawtooth nozzle made of special materials. The new ramp treatment was also visible on the nozzles which increases the rear stealth characteristics of the fighter. The engine is also reported to have been modified to match the performance of US F-22 Raptor. These engines will also power the Chinese future J-10B fighters as well. Beijing has made progress in developing modern variants of WS-10 engines. The WS-10C, which is the advanced version of older WS engines will be the third engine used in J-20 fighters. The first two engines used in the aircraft are Russian AL-31F M1 from Su-34 Strike Fighter and an older variant of WS-10. The WS-10A engines approached the performance of AL-31 but took much longer than AL-31 to develop thirst. The engine reportedly only generated 110 to 125 kilonewtons of thrust. In 2010, it was reported that reliability was also poor. The WS-10A lasted only 30 hours, while the AL-31 needed refurbishing after 400 hours. The WS-10A reportedly matured enough after 2009 to power J-11B Block 02 aircraft. The production or performance issues may have prevented the WS-10A from powering the J-10B. In 2018, Chinese state media reported an increase in engine lifespan from 800 to 1500 hours due to the increased heat resistance of new third generation single crystal turbine blades. In March 2020, Chinese state media released a video of WS-10B powered J-10C aircraft marking suggest it was part of fourth batch of J-10C of PLA Air Force. By January 2021, Chinese engineers considered WS-10C to be as good as AL-31F with WS-10C being targeted as a replacement interim engine for the J-20. As per their claim, WS-10C is considered as one of the most capable fourth generation fighter engines in the world, although it is still considerably behind the upcoming Russian Saturn AL-41 series engine being developed for Su-57. Still with a maximum thrust of 120 to 140 kN, the WS-10C is good enough to power the J-20 and other fighter jets of PLA. Beijing seems to be slowly and steadily progressing towards maturing the fighter jet engine technology and have no dependency on Russia for the engines. China is also working on WS-15 engines which is expected to be integrated onto Chinese future generation fighters of J-20 and will likely be the most powerful fighter engine in the world. As per Chinese sources, WS-15 development may complete in one or two years and the engine integrated with J-20 will be on par with US 5th generation F-22 Raptor. 
As per the reports from CCTV, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force has deployed a new brigade of J-20 jets. The improved J-20A variant will be powered by new WS-10C engines with a much improved performance over older J-20 unit. The J-20 jets have been deployed under Northern Theater Command. China has also started the production of new variant of J-20, the J-20B in 2020 and a twin seat variant is also expected. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.